free in this world there may not be a better word and we just got a whole bunch of free stuff and the name of that free stuff is plant factory in view now what we're getting comes in three main parts number one is probably the thing that everyone is going to be interested in the most that is the plant catalog which is simply a massive library of plants for any 3d software but these plants aren't just regular 3D models, but rather they are procedural models that are fully parameterized with presets for age, season, and various other settings. I'll just pick a few here to show you. Now importing will take a bit since I chose an HD mesh, so I'll skip that. Alright, now one more important thing to note is that what you're seeing is only a preview mesh. To get the final output, you need to come up here to the plugin and select convert to UE5 object. This will create your static mesh, textures, materials, and material instances in your folder of choice. But more than just that, it will also automatically enable a Nanite support. Highly recommended if you're going to use the HD meshes. And generate pivot painter data for UE Wind. You can also choose to get LODs and choose between individual materials or mastered and instance materials. And then over in the animation tab, you can also choose to make Wind animations if that's your workflow. And with that done, you can see this tree over here is no longer just a preview and is now responding to wind. The wind is a little excessive, so let's bring that down a bit.
I'm going to flip over to the master material. And over here in the shared wind settings, you can tone things down a bit. But enough of that, let's move on to what I think is the real best part, Plant Factory. Think of it like Speed Tree, but better, because it is now fully free. Plant Factory is the plant generation software that powers the plant catalog you saw earlier. With this software, you can create your own trees and plants, or start from an existing one and modify it. I'll choose something from the default content. This one over here. Alright, and here we can see how the trees are generated in the node graph. Starting from the trunk, and then the first branching level, then more branches, and then finally the leaves. And if you come down over here, you can see all the controls for things like trunk length and thickness. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. Over here in this area, you can see the materials. Now let's look at some other examples. I think a flower might be interesting to look at. Now this flower here is a little more complex than the tree earlier since it has a few more parts to it, but you can see the logic that governs it and can tweak it without too much trouble. And finally, the third part of this package is Vue, the environment software. Which I won't go too much into, the software itself isn't all that bad, it's just a little outdated. It still makes some pretty good render shots. But overall, it really doesn't have that much going for it. Because, well, Blender is also free. So I don't see many people going for it besides those who have already used it in the past. Well, that's all for now. Maybe we'll go a little more in-depth in the Tree Factory later. I do quite a bit of photo scanning, so being able to put in our scans into a procedural model sounds quite attractive for me. Well, thanks for watching.